Well, I think it's about that time. I'm actually about to just leave Qtile. I've been experiencing a little bit of slowdowns here on the system where if I, just for an example, I'll just go ahead and I just press the button. Took quite a bit. Hold on, I'll, I'll try doing that again. Here we go. Now I pressed it. See, that takes quite a bit. And I don't know if it's just Q browser, but I mean, my windows are taking a little bit longer to load up. And I think it's to do with Python. I, th I think it has to do with just their Python based, you know, programs. And I, I think it's time to move on. Um, just in case, if you're unfamiliar with what Qtile or um, window managers or um, D menu, anything like that is window managers, Qtile here. Qtile is a Python based, as I just said, window manager. And it's just how you see my screen here, how it automatically tiles windows and loads them up and manages switching between them. That's your window manager. And I've been messing around here in D menu. I have to be honest, I've never been a huge fan of the patching in D menu and um, DWM. However, I've got to say, from everything that I know, they should be much more performant than Qtile. As well as, I will say, patching is not that big of a deal. It's really not too bad. Here's the thing. If I go into my, conf uh, excuse me, my, yeah, no config, go here into my config.h, you'll see I've already added the line height patch. And I will say the amount of times that you have to go in and manually patch DW or D menu here is quite often the first patch I installed, which I believe was line height. I'm not sure. I had to go in here and manually uh, fix stuff because there was errors. That's really the downside to these programs is you are compiling from source and you are going to have to patch because they come pretty bare. They're, that's sort of the point. Um, they come as minimalistic as possible. And if you need to patch them, they are uh, and, and extend the features you're more than welcome to it's just you need to go in and actually edit the source files which i can understand for most people that being a big downside but there is also an inherent upside to that um you're working with source code so for for me i think it's very valuable as and i've wanted to you know get into c and um also be able to use d D menu and DWM better in general. So I think like this is going to be a really fun endeavor. I don't know if I'm going to actually stick with D menu and DWM, but I've got D menu. I'll go ahead and load it up here. I've got it already customized how, how I want it. You know, I can go in here and launch Q browser and load it up. Works great. I have no gripes. D, D menu works fantastic. And I will say one thing. You can load up scripts and stuff through D menu. It is a very robust um, launcher. So I do look forward to using it. But just wanted to let you guys know I'm, I'm going to be moving on from Qtile. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got my Qtile configs up to date, which they should be. I uploaded them like two days ago, maybe, maybe three days now, but still they're very recent but i'm going to go ahead and make sure that i upload my dot files get them all up to date and also i'm going to upload my d menu config here and so if you want to pull it down you're more than welcome to and use it hey it'll work out of the box awesome so yeah if you're curious like you've never really heard of d menu or anything like that I'll go ahead and show you how you can uh, go about patching it yourself. So what you'll want to do is go into your D menu uh, folder and you'll see you have a config.h, all of this stuff, but you can see I've also downloaded these um, patches here, this D menu scroll, D menu X resources, which this D menu X resources, I think is awesome because it allows me to sets um, 
set different things in demon you like the background and foreground straight from my x resources file i i really like that but let's say you've got this patch and you want to patch it what you would do is patch dash p or p1 and then you're going to want to do um that symbol there you're going to want to make sure it's open it up towards what you're going to put in as your patch and you can just do d menu we'll just do dash oh if i can type no scroll and then you could just press enter here and you'll run through the patch and if it fails it will actually give you out errors or it'll put put it out to a file that you can open and you'll just want to look for the lines with a minus and a plus and it'll tell you which files uh, or the file that it's editing at the top so you can go to that file and go in there and any line that has a minus find that line in the file delete it and then any line with a plus there should be a corresponding line above it and just put that line there whether you deleted the line above it and just put it where you deleted that line you know you you, you get the gist and then just save the file and then what you want to do is just a sudo make and then i do a clean install and bada bing bada boom compiled and d menu would have changed for you so it's not patching is not as annoying as even myself i've made it out to be pretty bad it's 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 not that bad it's just compared to other things it is an extra step and so i do under and i will say you're working with source files so i do understand why it's off-putting to plenty of people out there i completely understand although i will say if you're looking for performance bar none i think dwm is going to be uh the place to be so hopefully this helps a little bit with my speed problem but i will say my speed problem is compared to windows um my speed problem would just would just be that's windows that's the performance but i know i can get faster loading times and everything here on this laptop so i'm going to try and eke out as much performance as i can cut out some of these python programs and see if that speeds up my computer so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe and if you want to support me and the content i make here please go check me out over on lbry it's a fantastic decentralized platform that like actually respects your privacy and when you watch stuff do things on the platform hey even invite your friends you'll get some lbc and then if you want to tip me with it it's much appreciated and i will see you in the next video peace